Hello, everyone. I am representing the community from the pro side on integrase inhibitors cause weight gain, and I have no conflicts to disclose. Uh, so do ARVs cause weight gain? I believe they do. That is according to my experience as a person who has been on ARVs for the last 17 years. My experience as a person who has lived with HIV for the last 29 years, have been on ARVs for 17 years as well, I started uh, ARVs when I was 40 kgs and I had a CD4 count of less than 250 copies. However, as time progressed, I started gaining weight and my CD4 count doubled as well. However, three years into using ARVs, my legs started thinning while my mom started gaining visceral weight. I complained to my doctor who brushed it off at the time and said it was a normal reaction, but my legs didn't stop as well as my mom's weight gain until we were told it was time to be switched to another regimen because the stavidine based regimen had been proven to cause lipodystrophy and was phased out. Sometimes I wish I had taken the nutritionist seriously because at one point when I was 23, I weighed 100 kgs and I can't, as much as I can't remember the regimen I was on then, but I went through another the nutrition class to remind me on why I need to work on my diet. My weight went down to 95 kg, but it never went down anything below 90 kgs while I was on the tenofovirulam movidine and defavirance based regimen. I refused to be optimized to TLD because I had weight gain concerns, but uh, in 2020, my doctor insisted that I didn't have a choice. And I remember making a post on my Facebook page and most women telling me now I should be pre I should prepare for the weight gain coming my way. I was 91 kgs then. I thought, how worse could it get? Well, two years into TLD, now I weigh 124 kgs. From last year, September, where I weighed 114 kgs and uh, I was warned by my healthcare, work, my healthcare provider that I should look out so that I do not expose myself to more non-communicable diseases. But I started now switching to working out, eating one meal a day and even doing intermittent fasting. None of it worked. And uh, so far, I now my weight graph keeps going up. And uh, as much as I come from a family of big bodied women, my ARVs are not even helping in ensuring that I maintain proper weight that does not expose me to diseases such as diabetes. I have done discussions on ARVs and weight gain on my social media, and most responses I get from women are about weight gain and visceral fat, while some have not gained any weight at all. We consider them lucky. I've talked to my doctor a number of times uh, to have my regimen changed, but he insists it will soon kick in and I'll go back to weighing less than 100 kgs. I don't know when, but how many women are going through the same thing as me? How many of them get body shamed for being overweight? Just recently, somebody on my social media called me obese. Did it make me feel bad? Of course. Reason being, the person behind the keyboard does not know my struggles on being on medication that have to keep me alive, but also they have to keep me way being overweight. ARVs are here to help people living with HIV not look like they have HIV basically, but what if some of them are exposing people living with HIV to more problems because weight gain comes with its own fair share of problems. My suggestion will be let healthcare workers keep an eye on patients with an increase in weight gain and switch them to a different regimen very early. Train healthcare workers on integrase inhibitors that cause weight gain to look out sooner. Teach people living with HIV on proper nutrition habits, especially those on regimens with integrase inhibitors, and continue advocating for friendly regim regimens. At the end of the day, the goal isn't just health, but wellness in general. Thank you.